हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू टीचिंग पाठशाला आई होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग वेल टूडेज टॉपिक इज एंटायरली डिफरेंट फ्रॉम वॉट वी यूज टू डिस्कस मेनली टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू नो अबाउट द गेट लाइफ साइंस एग्जाम आई मीन ईज एंड एवरी पॉइंट दैट इज रिलेटेड टू दिस एग्जाम आई डोंट नो हाउ मैनी ऑफ यू आर फेमिलियर विद दिस एग्जाम दैट इज द गेट बिकॉज मैनी ऑफ द स्टूडेंट्स यूज टू थिंक दैट द गेट एग्जाम इज ओनली फॉर द बी टेक एंड द एम टेक स्टूडेंट्स नो इट्स नॉट लाइक दैट there is total of i think more than 20 subjects in which the gate used to conduct their exams and from there life science is one of them because many time i have heard the students saying that the gate exam is only for the either the biotech student or the btech or mtech students but many few of them is uh, uh, familiar with this things that the gate exam is also conducted in the life science subject So first of all I would like to mention that the gate 2019 is conducted by IIT Madras. So in this video I'm going to give you the whole information about when the registration is going to be started, what is the exam date as well as the questions syllabus and different updates that is related to the gate 2019. As because we are the student of life science so for us there is total of two subjects that is related uh, to the gate. first is the gate life science that is um, the code of the gate life science is the xl and second is the gate biotech in my video i am only going to tell you about the gate life science because uh, i am itself a gate life science student so i don't have that much of knowledge about the gate biotech but of course i can just outline the things that are there in the gate biotech if i talk about the gate biotech then i think the subjects that you used to prepare is like uh, biochemistry uh, recombinant dna technology engineering principle especially for engineering principle i think you have to uh, prepare a um, good enough of numericals i mean the students who are from the mtech biotech or the btech biotech they uh, they are familiar with the this subject that is what is engineering principle because for life science student i don't think that they have studied about the engineering principles so i would suggest that the student who are from the life science background like botany geology and microbiology Um, biochemistry they can go with the gate life science subject whereas the student who are from the biotech background they can give the gate biotech exam now let's talk about the opportunities which we will get after clearing the gate so first of all you can easily enroll yourself in phd in different iits nits or research institute but the thing is that you are going to admit or enroll in phd uh, but on the basis of the institutional fellowship uh, because uh, gate is not your own fellowship so on the basis of gate score institute will decide that uh, what amount of fellowship they are going to fix for you if you see csir net then it's your own fellowship but gate is not your own fellowship on the basis of gate score you are going to get the institutional fellowship depending upon in which institute you are going to enroll yourself for getting admitted in iits and nits you have to clear uh, some short of written exam as well as some rounds of interview after that only you are going to enroll for phd but if we talk about the research institute there are very few research institute who will allow you to do a phd on the basis of a gate score maximum of them they will only allow you to do a project work on the basis of this gate score not the phd but if you are uh, interested in doing the phd from iits or nits then you can use this gate score and you can easily get there after getting after clearing your different rounds of interviews second thing is that uh, you can work as a project fellow in government funded project like the dbt icmr and csir and they will uh, fix you for the particular amount of time and in that you have to a uh, work as a project fellow and third opportunity is that you can be uh, uh, eligible for the different sectors of job like psu that is the public sector undertaking i don't have that much of idea about the psu but yes i know that uh, with gate they used to uh, make you eligible for the psu entrance or i think the psu interviews now let's talk about the gate 2019 so online application form you are going to get from the first week of september that is mainly i think of first september closing date will be the last week of september admit card portal will be open from first week of january and exam date will mainly fall in the first or second week of february and the result will be announced in the second week of march uh, that is a tentative one let's see the subject that is uh, there in gate life science so first is the chemistry that used to come for total of 25 marks second is the general aptitude that will come for 15 marks and the third subjects are like uh, i think total of five subjects and you have to select any two that will be of your interest only 
there will be total 65 questions and the total marks will be of 100. Let's talk about the rules of GATE Life Science. So first of all, the GATE score uh, card is valid till the 3 years and the total marks I, I have already mentioned that it will be of 100 marks. The time will be provided is of 180 minutes that is 3 hours. So six, uh, for 65 question, you are getting total of a 3 hours to solve that. So the question will be of a MCQ type. Uh, numerical will also be included in that. So one more thing is that fill in the blanks and the numerical type question. They will not have any kind of a negative marking. So you uh, the negative marking will only be applicable for those question in which you will be provided by the different option that is option 1, 2, 3 and 4. But the question which is not having an option as well as the question with a fill in the blanks portion or the question with a numerical value, they will not have any kind of a negative marking. The last thing is that the, it is of a, obviously an online mode exam and for all the MCQ questions, a wrong answer will result in the deduction of a 1 by 3 marks for the 1 marks question and 2 by 3 marks for the 2 marks question. So these are some rules which you should keep in mind if you are going to attempt the GATE Life Science. So let's discuss in detail that what sorts of uh, subjects are there for the GATE Life Science students. So there will be total of 7 sections. Uh, section 1 will have the general apti, section uh, 2 will have the chemistry and it will be followed by uh, biochemistry, botany, microbiology, zoology and the food technology. One thing to note clearly that the general apti and the chemistry portion, it is the compulsory portion to attempt. You can't skip the chemistry portion as because you are not in touch with it. Because if you are targeting to clear gate life science, then you have to prepare some amount of chemistry for this portion. For chemistry, you can uh, prepare this subject from your uh, class 11 and 12th book because I think the, uh, the syllabus is mainly from that part only. And as because chemistry will come in 25 marks, you can't skip that part because it is having a huge number. So if you prepare some amount of chemistry, you can easily able to uh, get the 10 marks from that part. And from rest of the five subjects that is uh, biochemistry, botany, microbiology, zoology and uh, food technology, you have to select any two subjects to attempt in exam. Okay, in exam you will going to get the uh, whole section but you have to make a tick mark that uh, for which portion you are interested. So you have to pre-decide it that which subject you are going to attempt in the gate. So according to that you have to make your preparation. If you are interested in biochemistry and microbiology, you have to prepare this uh, two subjects very well if you are a student from uh, botany you, obviously your first selection would be the botany and for the second subject you have to prepare that uh, in which subject you are interested so according to that selection you have to prepare it very well and in exam you have to attempt according to that only but you can't skip the general apti portion and chemistry portion because it is the compulsory portion so somehow you have to attend it but uh, you are getting a selection option from the rest of the five subjects so you have to select according to your branch according to your interest because I was a student of microbiology, I have cleared my bachelor and master from the uh, bi uh, microbiology subjects. So my first selection was the microbiology and along with that, I have attempt for the biochemistry portion. And obviously I have prepared for the biochemistry and microbiology both. And along with that, I have attempted the general apti as well as the chemistry portion. Next thing we are going to talk about is the how much marks we should score so that we can clear the gate. So according to me, uh, as per I remember, in 2017, the cutoff for general category was like 33 marks and for the reservation category, I think it was of uh, 28 or 25 marks. And uh, in 2018, the cutoff for the general category was 28 marks and for reservation category, it was of I think uh, 20 or um, 22 marks, something like this. I don't remember it exactly, I'm just giving you a rough estimation. So if you want to make your site safe for the gate clearance, so the gen, uh, general category should uh, target the total of 45 marks okay and for the reservation category they should target at least of a 35 marks because it's not like that uh, that if a cutoff is 28 marks I'm going to score 30 marks no it's not like that you have to be on the safe side so for that at least you should score extra 10 to 15 marks so that you will not be in trouble because cutoff is something which we can't estimate by ourselves. I hope that video was informative especially for those students who were not familiar with the GATE Life Science exam. So the interested student can uh, fill the form that will be available from the first week of September on the official website.
I have attached this syllabus portion for the gate life science student with this video only so that uh, you are going to get it into our next slide. This syllabus portion will start from here. So if you uh, like this video then you can hit that like button and subscribe our channel for more such videos that would be related from the gate and the CSI net. Thank you. If some students are interested in discussing the question pattern of gate life science, they can comment and let me know so that according to uh, their demand, I will arrange a question for them.